everyone, this is Melanie from Melanie B's Creative Studio and I'm here with a package and I don't have a clue what's in it. And I was thinking it might be a few paint sets, so I'm gonna do an unboxing slash legit or scam video once I find out what's in here. I think this is an order from Kate's Moon and it has three paintings in it and I'm a little concerned if that's the case because that means they're folded and I do not like folded canvases, and I'm not sure where my iron is with all of our packing. <laughs> so I'm a little concerned, <laughs> but let's go ahead and open this up because it does look like it might have come from another country. And so, yes, it's like Christmas time. That is what is in here. Okay, so yeah, I'm a little, I'm a little uh, concerned about the fact that they're folded, but, they're boxed, so let's just open each one individually and take a look and see which design it is. And first, let me tell you when I ordered this. So these three paintings were ordered on July the 10th. I received shipping information on July 11th. And on the 12th of July, I actually saw the, the package was dropped off and was in transit. So I received this on the 25th, which was Saturday. Today is Monday on the 27th. I did not get an, a notification saying that it had been delivered. So because our local post office is so horrible and my mail carrier sucks, I did not know this was sitting in my mailbox for two days in 98 degree weather. So I'm a little nervous, but it wasn't the company's fault, but I do want to say that I got this and right at two weeks from the time I ordered to the time I received it. So it was like 15 days. So yay for Kate's Moon. Now, boo because they have it folded. But like I said, let's just go ahead and check it out. They have a buy two, get one free. So it's a pretty good deal. And the box does have instructions. So for those of you who are new, that's a nice little thing to have. Okay, so let's see how it's packaged. I thought there was paints in there. I guess they're inside here. So some of you might have seen me post this before. I actually ordered this design from Victoria's Moon back a few months ago, and it was one of my orders that was canceled. So I had not repurchased it. So when I saw it at Kate's Moon, I thought, well, let me try them. And so I ordered it from them. So that's gonna be the image. Let me insert a very nice picture right here. And that's what it will look like when it's completed. So I'm gonna say right off the bat, I already like the canvas. The canvas looks pretty nice. And the photo is very clear. Now I don't paint based on this photo because the printer might have been off or not calibrated. Even though this is a very vibrant picture, this would look beautiful. I think the one online is a little different. So we'll see which one our paints actually are closest to in reality. So here's our paint. Boy, it felt really flat. I didn't even know. I mean, I knew they had to be in there, but anyway, so here's our paint brushes, standard old paint brushes. Our paint palette of, is of course fabulous because I love to pick the ones that have all the, the beautiful rainbowy colors and water and anything that's related to ocean or sailboats or sunsets or beach, I'm just obsessed with. I think I'm obsessed with everything, so I might as well just keep that to a minimum. Okay, so here are beautiful paints. They're numbered clearly. Nice, nice, nice. So let's open this up, fold out our canvas, and take a look. Hella friggin' Luya. A black and white reference guide. Y'all, I mean, it's like Christmas when I see a reference guide. <laughs> Oh, there's a ton of little detail in this painting, so that's probably a really good thing to have a reference guide. Okay, so let's get him which direction. He goes this way. I am, even though he's not ironed yet, I am going to swatch a couple of the colors of the paints just to see what we're kind of looking at. The paint brushes I'll be using are ones that I've just recently spoken about and done a video on, um, the five pack detail paint brush. And so if you are interested in getting that, I will have a link in the bottom to where you can find it. So you guys who may not know, when I say there's a link in the bottom, you're gonna look right here next to the title. There's gonna be a little arrow. You click that arrow, it drops you down. and gives you all the information that I've included with 
this video. So all the links, my blog, the group, everything, all the products that I'm showing you today, all the ones that I'm using, like the pharmacy cosmetic wipes that are fabulous for cleaning your brushes, blah, 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 and so on and so on. Okay, so this is a very slick canvas. I will be gessoing it. You guys, I have a video now about all your questions answered about gesso. So please go watch that video. If you still have questions, feel free to comment and ask away. So let's choose a color. I'm gonna choose number 17, because it's right here and it's fairly big and it's right in the center of the camera. The paints, let's check the paints. The paints are good and creamy. They're not dried out, at least this one's not. Now, because it's a very slick canvas, my brush might slide around a little bit, lack a little control, and I expect that. But what I'm mostly looking for is opacity and quality, coverage, texture, those kinds of things. And the brush that I'm using, as far as size goes, is a two slash zero in that detail brush kit that I talked about. So if you get that brush set, you'll know which one I'm using. And I'm going way outside the lines because it is such a slick canvas and I paint quickly. I'm used to the gesso kind of giving me a little more control. <laughs> My, my brush is like sliding out of the lines because I'm just, it's like skidding in sideways, basically. Okay, so that was really nice paint. Very nice, very nice coverage. Love the color of all of these paints. Next, we're gonna try one that I'm a little unsure of as far as um, whether it's gonna be opaque or not, and it's just the oranges or the yellows. I feel like I should test one of these, the 23, the 24. Let's go with 24, it's right here. And let's see, now that looks like it's got a lot of white in it, which means great for coverage if it's got white. And it may not be totally opaque, but it'll be better than a normal orangey yellow color. So as far as opacity goes, I'm, you know, that is way better than any other orangey yellow I've tried. I mean, I can barely see the number. Now I know it's not dried yet. It'll dry a little different color, but it, um, it looks like it's covering really nicely. So I can find a number 20. Ooh, that one just about bailed. It's scary. Are, are pretty nice. I'm really happy. So what I'm going to do right quick is I'm going to open them all up. You don't have to watch me do that and I'm going to make sure there's none dried out because of the fact that they were sitting in my mailbox all weekend. I'm going to take a quick look. What I just looked at looked great. So I'm going to set this one aside and let's move to our next. Oh yeah. He's going to be a pretty, pretty big boy. Once again, you can see that my palette is just a rainbowy looking palette. I love watercolor. I love to do watercolor. I am obsessed with it. I love the look of it. And I realize that paint by number with acrylic paints will not look exactly the same as a watercolor. But I was so curious about how this would turn out that I had to get this guy. And I figured that this would be a really cute piece if I get the, the mama and the baby elephant that's similar to it and put them side by side in like a playroom or something like that. And it would be fabulous. Anyway, moving on. Let's swatch a couple of these paints. Oh God, y'all look at this palette. Ugh. I'm sorry, I need to apologize right now for enabling you to want to go buy everything you see um, I do the same thing. That's why sometimes I avoid YouTube videos. I'm, I know I am so easily swayed that I'm like, I know they're gonna talk me into buying something, so I'm afraid to go do it. But you guys, I'm sorry, but look at this palette. Oh my God. Oh, it's beautiful. I 
I'm assuming that's a male. It's not really like there's parts to be able to tell. Okay. Let's go in and just test a few paints. We know what the canvas is like. We've already talked about it. We know what the um, texture's like. And so I'm gonna find a couple of colors and pull them out and we're gonna test them. Let's go with number eight. Ooh, creamy paint, creamy paint. Not liquidy, but creamy, which is pretty good considering this is sat in my bell box for two days and heat. Okay, so I just saw like 50, oh, here we go, eight. Wow, that's a great green. It covered so beautifully. Super duper excited. I swear you guys, I'm gonna have to post like 30 paintings on the group and let you guys decide which one I do next because I cannot decide. I've got so many beautiful paintings and I just don't know which one to go to next. Okay, so this is a very creamy paint. You're gonna watch, I'm gonna open it real slowly. See that? So good paint quality. I'm gonna get it real quick and move that to that side and move this to this side and how fabulous is this purple. Ooh, it's gorgeous. Okay, so let's stick to this little area right here. Oh God, it's beautiful. It's so beautiful. Y'all, I mean like, I just, you know what? These kind of paintings just fill me with happiness and joy. I, I just, I'm like, oh my God, I'm so in love. Okay, next paint. Let's look at one more, one more paint. Let's just, ooh, here's a yellow. Let's try this yellow. This could be a booger. I don't know why number five is always yellow, but let's do it. It's almost like I got a hint of lime to it, but it's so beautiful. I just can't wait to get these gessoed and see how the texture, how much better the paint covers when it's not slipping around on itself and showing stroke marks. Yeah, this yellow is a good color. It's just that it's really moving so much on this canvas with it being so slick. I have no tooth. And so it's just like, it's very strokey don't y'all love how I come up with my own language? All right, so I'm hard, having a hard time getting the stroke marks out because the canvas is so smooth, but it covered that number five like nobody's business. That's what I want. That's what I'm looking for. So I have high hopes for most of these paints. Now, number one, number 19, those are the only ones that I see that might give me some trouble possibly 22, they don't have as much white, but I am okay with that because right now, these are usually kind of tricky colors, like a green and a yellow, and it looks fabulous. So let's move on to our third and final painting from Kate's Moon, and then I can give you my opinion. This is such a different style than anything I've done, but I thought it was so pretty. This one would be an easy one for the most part. Um, it's got lots of little small areas in here, but they're not overwhelming. Like there's a lot of big open areas and then there's some little small areas. So this would be a great one for a beginner. Have my reference guide, thank goodness. And y'all look at the palette. Oh my gosh. Where's my picture? Oh no. I don't see, oh, it's taped to the front of the box. Yeah, I don't like that idea because I'm not storing this. I'm not storing this paint set back in this box. Oh, poo. All right, well, anyway. All right, let's test a few paint colors. Um, can you say yummy, yummy deliciousness? Um, hello. So here's one thing I'm noticing. This one's only got 22 colors, but it is kind of a simple design. So that should mean there's lots of tones and values of the same color. So like we've got tints and shades of purples and in different values. So that means it's gonna have a nice little finished, finished look. Now, because black is one of the main colors, I'm going to try this black. Some blacks are very jelly, very jellified. 
and they leave stroke marks. And on this very smooth canvas, of course, I'm a little concerned about that. But I'm gonna go ahead and just try this black and see how it looks. Cause that will probably be the first color I paint on this painting since there's a lot of it. And it's gonna give me my main image. So that's what I'll start with. So the black paint is a little bit jelly, like it's um, it's not a completely opaque color, but that's okay. I have my Arteza paints, and so black is not something that I get too concerned about because I can switch it out. But um, but it does have a nice a nice sheen to it. Now, I if I had gesso down, it wouldn't it, it would be totally different, and I feel like that's going to be a nice opaque color. But if I have to switch it out, I do have a backup, which is good. And don't forget you guys, those of you who've been painting for a while and you have several kits, don't forget you can go back to those other kits and if you had a really good black in a kit, make sure you pull it out and use it, you know, if you need it. Okay, let's do number 11 right here because, well, it's a gray, but it's right here. Let's see if we got another pretty color. How about 13? Let's do 13 right here. I'm trying to be careful opening these up. They're not liquidy at all, but you never know when you might open one that is. These colors are like oh, insane. I just, oh crap. Maybe I should do a video about troubleshooting. What if I go outside the line? The lines are just a guide. They just say, try to stay within us. But honestly, I don't get all worked up about that like I used to because I know when I do number 11, I'm just going to go right straight along there and it's gonna cover it right up. Look at how beautiful that color is, that periwinkle. Oh my goodness, super excited. All right, finally, let's do number 22 right here. You see the paints are really creamy. That is so beautiful. Now, and this is gessoed. It's gonna give me such pretty coverage without stroke marks. Oh my gosh. You guys, so what is my final opinion of Kate's Moon? I, other than the fact that the canvases are folded, I love it. I love them. So, you know, I'm, I'm fairly excited about doing these paintings because of the fact that the colors are so beautiful. They're very opaque. Um, the texture's nice. I will be gessoing them, but whether it is a legit or a scam, this company is legit. And if you are unsure, because some companies will change over time, pay with PayPal or a type of payment that you know you can get your money back if for some reason you aren't satisfied with your purchase. Okay, you guys, I hope this was helpful for you. Um, and I will be doing our July trusted sites very soon. Don't be surprised if you see some of these companies in that list. Don't forget to subscribe, give me a thumbs up and go join us at the group. All that information is in the bottom in the description right down here. That little arrow next to the title, click that, drops down everything that I have used today and where you can get these beautiful paintings. All right, I'll see you back soon. Thank you as always for watching.